continuing with the next, um, continuing with the uh, rest of this uh, discussion. Confidence in, in God, having a strong foundation of faith, having a strong backbone. How bold are you? You don't have to be perfect. I don't think a girl expects you to. If a girl expects you to be perfect, she is not of God. You hear me, guys? And girls, same thing goes to you. If a guy is expecting you to be perfect, he is not of God. Because Jesus is perfect. He doesn't even expect us to be perfect. He tells us to strive, to strive to be perfect. Because if we were perfect like him, we would not be living in a world that we live in now. Becoming the right person. Does that mean you have to have everything? No. If you're preparing to become the right person for the right person, that already is an attractive quality. Or it should be. If you're trying to, be, to, to, to work hard despite whatever obstacles or bridges you have to face, like for example, if you're if you're laid off on a job and you're in between jobs and you're trying to do odd jobs, yet you're putting in applications. Not, not only that, if you you lost if you lost a family member or lost a loved one, and yet through the grieving process, you're trying to say, God, please carry me through this, keep me strong. That someone will notice that. People watch, look at our lives. I don't know how many people actually realize that. And a lot of the times I have forgotten that. But people actually look at our lives to see how we really live, to see how we really function, and how much we trust God, even when it feels like everything is gone. Becoming the right person. How is your attitude? Girls will look at attitude. Guys? Guys look at attitude too with girls. Real, strong, genuine believers of God will look for these things. Now, will it all be perfect? No, not by any means. Intelligence. Yes, girls are attracted to smart guys, just like smart guys are attracted to smart girls. Do they have to have the same personality? No. If we all, think about it, if we all had the same personality, and we all had the same hair, the same eyes, the same, okay, let's, let's, let's start over. If we all had the same laugh, the same, this, yeah, if we all had the same laugh, if we all had the same smile, the same res, uh, response or reaction when, when someone tells a joke, if we all like the same music, if we all like the same thing, wouldn't life be boring and pointless? And then how could any marriage be fun? But, but, but we don't, and that's why God created diversity. And, and He's so awesome that He created creativity in that diversity. You know, in Psalm 139, it says that, it says that in Psalm 139, verse 14, that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. How amazing is that? How, how awesome is that? To be fearfully and wonderfully made. That means out there, He has somebody for you. I knew that to be true. But when we jump into relationships, when we jump too soon, when we get attached too quickly, we jump ahead of God. I'm one of the biggest ones who has done that. And already this year, I'm trying to reclaim my faithfulness for God. I'm trying to say to God, I can wait. Yes, it might hurt. Yes, it's hard. But God, I'm going to wait. That means I'm going to tell a girl, you want to go on a date? And I'm going to say, I'm not interested. I want a connection. I want to... I want conversation. I'm expecting, I'm praying that you guys out there, that a lot of you guys out there are watching this, and girls, you too, because, you know, 
I can't just focus on the guys and not the girls. I have to focus on both spe spectrums. We are equal together. A man is not more equal than the woman, and a woman is not more equal than the man. If that were true, we would not be equal. That would be above and a little bit below. Or in other words, being greater than the other. That would be a price. But we are all created equal. So, this does go out to both guys and girls. But when we jump, and when we get attached too quickly, we jump ahead of God. We tell God that, all right, I'm tired of waiting. Can I date her? There doesn't seem to be anything wrong. You know, I used to wonder, does God even look at the aspects of when we get to know somebody on a deeper connected level? You know, without the romantic innuendos and the, and the, physical, the physical limitations, you know, being so close to one another as to you being right here and as to this person being right there, like really, really close. You know, I'm not saying, okay, we need to be far away, Joel. No. Every, every friendship is different. Yes, some people like to hug. Some people like to do the high five thing. I would be a mixture of both. Um, it depends on the guy and the girl. Becoming the right person for the right person. Does a girl expect you to have a high class dollar job? I would hope not. I would really, really hope not. Because her trust is in the Lord. Her trust is in Jehovah Jireh. You know, He's our provider. God is our provider. Now, would she appreciate that you are doing something out there for someone? For just anyone. Every day. As much as possible. You know, just being a difference maker. Quoting a song from Need to Break. Yes, I think she would honor that. Would she honor the fact that you are looking for work, looking for jobs? Because you got lost when you got laid off from one. And and guys would and and guys, vice versa. Yes, I think both would. I, I think both hopefully would. I, I can't answer for every guy and girl because we're all different. But I would say a good percentage or a decent percentage, yes, they would find that very admirable. Even despite any of the scars or flaws that, that they go through. Becoming the right person for the right person. In closing this video too, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, end off with uh, becoming the right person for the right person um, and more. And I'm gonna I'm gonna say this 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 these last this last um, portion of it. We become the right person for the right person. Is it the person that we're interested in? You have to ask yourself this question. Do I have the confidence of God? Do I am I strong enough to learn about this woman or this man, whether you're a woman or a man? Am I strong enough to look past her mistakes, his mistakes, his flaws, her flaws, her scars, his scars? Stuff that they've done wrong. Will I look at the uh, who they were back then or, or him back then? Or will I look at who they are now? Who they're trying to be? I will have most people that I talk to tell me that this is a stupid video. And they may be right. 
But one thing is for certain, it is not a stupid video. I think I think this is a video that, that really I really prayed some time about talking about the series. We thought of it in my sleep. If a guy wants to be a helper to a woman, and he wants to be more than just her lover, he wants to pray for her. Ask her how she's doing. Ask her how her day is. Let her know that she was being thought of. Asking her what she likes, what she dislikes. Asking her, is it alright if we can go somewhere and just talk? In conversation, have a connection. But and if, if you're busy, then, then maybe we can... Uh, we can wait for a time when you're not busy, when we're both not busy. How how things are, how's your week going? You know, are, are you struggling with anything? Is there anything that I can do to help you? Or is there any way I can encourage you? Or even the words, I would like to encourage you. I would, I would love to help you if, if you need my help with anything. Serving in spite of, and not serving in spite. When we have a foundation on the Lord Jesus Christ, and we start off as friends with each other, I really think there comes a connection that's so strong, a bond that's, oh my goodness, it's too, it's too beautiful for words. It's, it's indescribable. That bond is so sacred, that it's like, there's not a word to describe it. All I can say is, it's incredible, it's amazing, it's, it's majestic, it's, it's beautiful, it's divine, it's divine poignant. That kind of thing. Is everybody going to follow suit? Is everybody going to, like me, is everybody going to want to be friends with someone first? Really get that connection. Really get that conversation going. Just learning about one another. Praying for each other. Bible studying with each other. You know, being active. Playing, playing sports. Whether it be basketball, running. And you can even go bowling. Being interactive with one another. That means not having your cell phones. Texting each other while you're sitting on the bench. That's like if I go meet a girl. Let's just say... If I go meet a girl about, I don't know, let's say the end of summer. I go meet a girl at the end of summer, and she goes meet me, and she says, let's go meet at a coffee shop. And then I go to sit down, she goes to sit down, she pulls out her phone, and texts the entire time, and then I get up my phone, text the entire time. What have I done? What has she done? We've both wasted our time. We've both wasted our time. What shit have we done? Well, we should have kept our phones on, but only pulled them out in case of an emergency. In case there's really, really something going on, and it's something that we need to attend to, the other person needs to attend to. But if we're trying to get to know somebody, we shouldn't have distractions. Technology. Our technology age today is a distraction in itself. We have lost the connection that every generation is yearning for. We've lost that connection. Because we lost who we are in the process. If we have that foundation with Christ, and our focal point is Him, and we allow God, we trust God, He won't fail. Will He promise us everything that we want? No. He likes the fact that we have desires. But some desires... Are not, or I should say, some desires that he thinks that we love, he comes up with something better. It's amazing. God is surprising. He's, he's incredible. He's a God of wonder, and, and he just comes up with something brand new. It's like, it's like an artist. He just paints a picture on the wall. With God, his pictures 
are too beautiful to imagine. He never makes a single flaw in his photos, in his pictures. God is a matchmaker. Now, can everybody be friends with someone after their whole entire life? You know, not knowing about old fashioned and courtship right off the bat and be friends with someone? Of course not. I'm amazed that I can. You know, but, but I'm trusting God. I'm trusting God. Some people, like, for instance, been over a year since they've been out of a relationship because they've jumped in them all the time. And they're not ready to be friends with anyone. Because they don't want to hurt the person's feelings. But I will say this, I feel like I am ready. Because I, I, did, I know after, after 10 years, and I'll, and I'll share this and I'm going to close. After 10 years of searching, who do I want a partner? I realize friendship is the most amazing, valuable thing ever. And, and I want to be that person's best friend for life. Even if by some chance I, I don't, God, does, God tells me this is not the person I'm meant to marry. But however, God says we're supposed to marry our best friend. Who's your best friend? Maybe it's somebody you're talking to right now. Maybe your best friend you've not even met yet. Or you've not even talked to online. Pray for that person. Pray for that person. You might not even know who they are. Who that person is. But pray for them. Are you praying for a wife? Then every day pray for one. We you know God works right on time. Not on our time. And we might think he's late. But he's never late. It's always on time. For the girls, are you praying for a husband? Do you want someone real to be genuine in your life? Start praying. Start praying for that person. And at the same time as you're praying for that person, guys and girls, pray that God, pray, pray for God to help you to become the right person for the right person. To becoming the right person for the right person. We fix our eyes on Christ. We can't get lost. We fix our eyes on the world. We do get lost. And we get caught up in these, in these things about what the world expects us to do. The world doesn't want us to wait. 